play just a bit more then. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. Horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. The truth. Oh, this sounds final, this. Alan. Shh, baby. Oh, sugar. Alice. Bit lower. Bit lower. Oh, no. Bit higher. Bit higher. You were sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated Watch death. schizophrenia. It's okay, Alan. Just, Just let go. Of my breasts. Huh. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me Music was playing. making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. I couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Could it all have been a dream? It's my IV. Shall I take it with me? Still wearing my friggin' tweed jacket. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Good evening, Alan. Good Are evening. we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna smack you. So you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. If you say so, Doctor. If you say so, look at you, this you prick. This for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Yeah. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Shut up. I specialize in Death rally. Oh, this is my this is my room, this. I've been drawing shit. Hey look, I've been drawing this. It's me fighting someone in the woods. It's a lovely day. Yeah, you're right. Let's go out for a let's go out for a walk. Ah, oh, look, there's an Xbox. Honestly, try and get every bit of advertising in they can. I bet you do. Emerson, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Anyone else got an Xbox? Alan? No. But I bet that's a Microsoft bed. Right, let's go. Just barging through these doors. I do apologise, Doctor. Hey, you haven't got your gorilla with you. I'm gonna punch now, your nose again. Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. Is he going shadowy? So I'm just going to say this. No. Alice is dead. Nah, she's not. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. His eyes are creepy. I don't Alice like his eyes. Brown. Okay. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. I can't get the camera right, sorry. Delusions, unusual things, right, leave it. An obsession about light and darkness. A feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Well, you come with me for a stroll through the woods, mate. Elaborate fantasy and you'll see what I mean. Your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Yep. You go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. 
It's all in your head. No, it's not. You've been making it up. Come on, Alan. Tragic accident with her wife. No one has been killed. You and I are going to keep this. Just a keep this truth to ourselves. Trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know Look at the that. Stunning. Think about it. Doesn't this make <coughs> far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Well, not really, because it, it happened. Nature. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Can it, though? So do you want to explain how I got all these cuts and why they're filled with rust from old shadowy axe handles and stuff? Yeah. Go on then. In tenebras cadere. That means... Um, to something in in shadows. Cad... Cado. Can't remember. I, I did Latin. It was my favourite subject at school. Cool, right, okay. Come on in, Doctor. Let's go for a wander. We're going to look out on the lake, are we? There was a cabin there, mate. There was. You just don't believe it. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't ah, it? Yeah, it's beautiful. The golden lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. That's Mira Peak. I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It's all underneath. Oh dear. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. It's the supernatural dark shadow men. This way, follow me. That's what it is. Ask Agent Nightingale, he's saw. telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Yeah, but can you not hear that After thunder? All your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because you're a prick. Because I'm lying? Yeah. Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. The former it's option. It's for you to think of me as your enemy. Push him down the stairs. I let him talk. After all, I'm the one trying to bring you voice. out of the world His words you've constructed echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I can't I do it by myself. I dealt my nails my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that... Is he digging his nails into the palms of his hands? No, he's not. That would have been a nice little touch. Let's go inside. Put the chocolate on the moose, and you get the chocolate the moose. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. Anyway. It's for staff only. You You're were creepy bastards. My trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great Shut outdoors. up. Man versus nature. It's scary, wonderful. Scary, scary. Pretty damn wonderful. Fuck man. off, seriously. Okay, I don't like you. Emerson. I'm hiding behind the doctor. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Yeah, you're right. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. I'll punch you in the face. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. Yeah. You can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him. It I'm doesn't look like it, Doc. He works on... Video. He's gonna karate chop you in the back. Trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Nothing wrong with computer games, Doctor. Well, you. There's just no explanation needed, really, is there? You still karate chopping? Yep. I'm in a absolute loony bin. All right, gorilla. Oh, you're going that way. Yeah. Shut up. How am I supposed to work, though, with all these bloody idiots? Welcome to the Coddle Lake Lodge. Nah. My rheumatism is killing me. Uh, now. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. Oh, you see? this place off the face of the earth. 
And these two. I remember them. Now they're from the diner. Brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a Tor. Oh god, he kills the nurse. In the 70s and 80s, called Old Gods of Asgard. He's gonna they kill a nurse. They adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll life. Palliative care, mate. That's what it's called. Mark. Yeah, but they were in the diner. Nope. This is all real. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room. Try to write. It really is for the best. Well, I'll just make a shit shitload of manuscript pages to collect. And then scatter them across the hills. No, he loved to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us. Oh, I like him. Yeah. Sonny, who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Say, Squeak. All right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got it. My name's Alan. The Anderson form. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know Lest we forget. Is right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash. Uh. I kept it safe. Well, I don't want it. A. What could it have on it if it's given you a rash? B. Where did you keep it to get that rash? Back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? My name's Alan. Oh, Thomas Zane. Shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, ran away with words. So, yeah, uh, no. perhaps I am Alan Wake, um, Thomas Zane. No, I'm alright, thanks. I'll end up like you. You can... Oh, she stopped singing, that's something. You're a mentalist. You, nurse, are you Nurse Sinclair? The storm's bound to make you know who Because if you're Nurse Sinclair, yeah. you are going to get smashed the hell in. Oh, no, that's not the way to my room. Where is. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hart? Oh, you call me Wake. Give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Yeah, perhaps I'm not Thomas Say. Oh, well, maybe I am. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. Yeah, told There's you. A shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's Behind you. Chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. Shit. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Oh, it's scary again. Oh, there's another QR code. Shall I scan it this time, see what happens? I didn't scan the last one. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna, just gonna quickly scan the barcode, see what happens. Yeah, I know, I don't care what's new in version 4.2. Piss off. alanwake.com forward slash tag 3. Well, yeah. What does it say? That's what it... That's my phone. Um, constipation that looks painful. Hartman wanted me to write. 
I knew I could, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was that's what it says. Do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Interesting. Not quite sure what that's all about, but never mind. Okay, let's go back to my room. Oh, that's not the way to my room. This is. Wake. Ah. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. It's because it's not real. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Who's that? It's a Hartman. He's gonna smack you in the head with a hammer, love. You Told you. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Yeah, well, there's clearly no chance I'm just gonna sit there. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Investigate racket. Barry in the lodge. Where is, where is he, Barry? I mean, he's a dick, but I kind of miss him. Let's go downstairs. Have a look at what's going on. It's my store. I'm taking it. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her heart. The backstage is all yours, Tom. She is your destiny. The key. Well, I'm taking the key. I had to get to Hartman's office. Good job, guys. Very good job. I'm just gonna go and rob Hartman blind. Oh, Barry. Oh, I've decided I can't really be asked with Barry again. Barry? Ow! About time! Yeah, Barry, should, let me just get the coffee. Man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. I'm initially it's glad right to see you. right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer. Don't really care. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. It is a conspiracy. He's trying to cover it up, is Dr. Oh, Hartman. Please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. Ah, you're a bastard. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. Shit. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. Yeah, for who? Oh crap. She's not happy. She's not happy. Yes, he got his comeuppance. Excellent. I'm happy with that. Yeah, a little grin. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. okay. Well, let's go through the door, shall we? I don't even have a friggin' torch. Hartman watches Wake fall. Ah. Ah. Leads up to me coming here. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Okay. Oh my goodness. Seriously, open the lock. 
Oh. Come on. Not good for the RSI. We'll go through. Seriously. Whoops, it easy. I think we'll ignore that. Oh, you! Shit. Well, I can't take that light because it's just. Oh. There's a bear floating. None of this is going well. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Ah, I tried to double click it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That owl almost terrified me. Whoa! <laughs> Go. That owl. Bitch. Okay, what's in here? Flare. Here's a flare. Only when strictly necessary, though. Oh my goodness. Right, I think it's strictly necessary. Out of the way. I should have held on to that. Oh, it was done anyway. Am I going to watch the TV for a bit? Or? Yeah, I think I will. I'm just going to get the manuscript page. Portman knew he was no creator. Yeah, he obviously. Had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. Damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. To be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Uh. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. So it's basically just he wanted to be, he wanted to have a power trip. Boob tube achievement. What? <laughs> oh, sexy Japanese girls driving cars. I say Japanese, so... Yeah, that looks Japanese. Could be wrong, though. Oh, it's all advertising now. Doesn't matter. Let's carry on. Shit. Let's just go. Go, go, go. Let me through. No problem. I'll go this way. Oh! Oh, crap. I'm not 100% sure what to do. Come on. Oh, fuck. Go. Just stop getting stuck on things, you stupid ass. Otherwise that happens, isn't it? You're a penis. Nah, see? I'm gonna die. Because Alan Wake is a penis. See? Alan Wake's a penis. Let's try that again, shall we? Um, shit. Okay. Alright, this time, this time we've got it. Shut up. Oh! I've got a gun! Superb. Could do with a flashlight, but yeah, whatever. Right. How about you? Literally is a ball of steel. Balls of steel. Okay. No, you're not gonna... Come on. Yes. Have it. Run. Shit. Oh! Got there. I got there. Right. Well, we got this. It's just going to come around for me, and I'm going to go into this door. 
It's a time old. Ah, look, it's a time old game mechanic. Just it started off when you were fighting the Tyrannosaurus Rex in um, Tomb Raider, and it's been used in so many games since. Ah, oh, that was shit. Wasn't it? Well, it wasn't that shit. I've had worse. Come on, stop hobbling. I know, come on! Meet Barry. I need health. Is the ball after me? No. No, we're fine. The, car, but the, gate's locked. You're gonna have to go the hedge maze over there! The hedge Barry, maze. I don't have a light. Take this, oh, take it. Yes. Oh god! Look at the house, Al! Look at the house! I'm gonna get the coffee. I'm gonna get the coffee. I don't care, I'm gonna get the coffee. Don't care. Yoink! Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's get through this game. They're here, says the achievement. What does that mean? Inanimate objects shouldn't move on their account. Stop them 20 times. Okay, fine. Right. Well, my friends. That's where I'm going to have to stop. That's where my camera runs out. And it's an exciting place, ready for the garden maze. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you've enjoyed the last three episodes. And uh, till next time. Love y'all. Bye.